In chapter 6.6, .6, we're approximating the binomial to the normal curve. And to do that, we have to verify that n times p and n times q is greater than or equal to 5. In this case, n is 13 and p is 0.4, so corresponding q would be 0.6. And if you take 13 times 0.4 and 13 times 0.6, that's greater than or equal to 5. So we're able to answer this question with um, the normal distribution curve. So we have to kind of go through a couple of the processes here. We want to look at fewer than 3. So we have to take into account the continuity of the normal distribution curve. And this is in your book over 6.6. Six and we can go how to calculate um, the mean and the standard deviation we're given that information but when we're using the normal approximation we have to use the continuity correction so the value of x is represented in the normal distribution and we have to take into account either adding 0.5 or subtracting 0.5 and the example here um, you can go through, they do an example. Where these statements here, fewer than, right? We use fewer than three. So fewer than 152 doesn't include 152. So we're really looking to the left of 151.5. So in this case, we're really looking to the left of 2.5. So that is an important part there. This x value is going to be 2.5 when we use that. So we need to calculate the mean and the standard deviation. And again, I'm going to open the stat crunch. And the mean and the standard deviation can be plugged into the calculator for the normal distribution. And we're going to look to the left of this x value being 2.5. And then we need to calculate the mean and standard deviation. We'll have everything we need. So x would be 2.5. Here the mean is going to be n times p times q. So we have 13 times 0.4. Sorry, the mean is going to be n times q. The standard deviation is the square root of n times p times q. So n times p, which would be 5.2. The standard deviation is going to be n times p times q, and then the square root of that, which would be 1.76635. And looking at the probability that the x value is less than or equal to 2.5 gives me this probability. I'm rounding four decimal places. So I'm going to round up. And again, because this value is greater than five, I round up. Kind of weird. 2.5. So this number is greater than five, so I round up. And I can check that answer and go on to the next question. Um, going to be very similar. 